Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and Christine is with me today. And we're highlighting Marie Jose Bloom's uh, workshop on our site called Core Motivations, which is the most amazing workshop. In her way, in her brilliant, brilliant way, um, she shows us how to take the anatomy, make it intuitive, help to translate that um, into real-time things that you can do in the studio. So when you, work, when you watch the workshop, you're going to get so much right away that you can start to use. And it's the simplest stuff, but it's also mind-blowing, especially for the client. So we have Christine here set up. So I wanted her hips a little bit above her knees. Her feet are flat on the floor. And I want to ask the client to find what they think is neutral first. Ideally, so the head is right over the rib cage, is right over the pelvis. And she's doing a beautiful job. And I also want her to feel like she's right on the center of her sits bones. She's not on her tail. She's not on her sacrum. And this really is the embodiment, our birthright height of our spine. And this is really important to bring to the awareness of the client that this is the optimal height of their spine in sitting. And then we're going to explore in a moment the tilt forward and the tilt back. So just finding a little bit on the front of the sits bones and a little bit on the back of the sitting bones. Now to really help her, right, I'm going to do a hand hold on her head that MJ does in the workshop. MJ is so wonderful with her hands. And to watch the workshop and to see how she communicates with her touch during these um, amazing sequences is so, so um, worth your time. So I'm taking her occiput, I'm taking the middle of her forehead, I'm trying to give her my elbow in her mid-back, and then I'm going to ask Christine to just slightly shift her head back into my hand on her occiput. There we go. And so my hands, I'm kind of bringing, imagining that I'm bringing my hands um, to the center of her head. Her head upper back stays the same. On her exhale, I want her to tilt back slightly. Tilt back slightly into lumbar flexion. Good. Now, do you feel taller or do you feel shorter? Shorter. <laughs> shorter. Good. And then come back to the center of your sits bones, where we're in our upright optimal height. Now, I want you to move forward to the front of your sits bones. Good, so you go into hyperextension, right? You go out of your upright into hyperextension, so creating more lordosis. Do you feel taller or shorter? I feel taller this way, but shorter that way. Okay, good, good. And then come back to center. Good, and release. Good, so it's interesting to ask your clients what they're feeling spatially. So we're really at our tallest when we're right in the center of our sits bones, balancing the front, back, and sides of the spine in our home curves. We want to be able to go forward and back and all the way around, but that that's shortened. So if we hang out forward or back of our vertical center, then we're always in a shortened state in our spine. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.